Our next guest is uh, Mitchell Battelle. He's got a bio that reads as long as my arm. Mitchell is an actor, stage, screen, TV. He's a writer, producer, received Helpman Awards for the Best Actor in a Musical for The Mikado. He's had the, uh, the Venetian Twins, another uh, award there. Mitchell is directing Violet at Chapel Off Chapel. It's a musical, and it's got a vibrant score, an original score, set in the 1960s, and he's online now to tell us all about it. Mitchell, nice to have you on the program. G'day, Lee. Nice to be on the program with thank, you. Thank you for joining us. Your history, I mean, say, you're not just a director. I mean, say, the, the acting you have done in your time has just been phenomenal. Oh, that's very good. Yeah, I've been, a, been around a while. So well, well, well tell, me, tell me how you became an actor. What influenced you to want to act? Oh, gee, I um, I always, always performed as a child, and then I, I actually started doing an arts law degree at uh, New South Wales Uni, and did lots of student theatre and all that kind of thing. And from there, <clears throat> started working with David Atkins a lot when I was. Oh, young. did you with David? Yeah, so yeah. my first big show was Breeze with him and Guy Pearce, and from there, um, yeah, led into led into lots of other theatre work and. It seems to pay the bills, so that's good. <laughs> you know, reading your bio, I mean, so it is as long as my arm. It's it's huge. You look at things that you've done, like South Pacific, the um, the producers, Kismet, uh, Oklahoma. It just goes on. Hair for the production company here in Melbourne, Dusty, and and things. A funny thing happened on the way to the forum. Um, how you fit all of that in with everything else is is incredible, isn't it? Yeah, oh, that's good. Yeah, no, it's had a lot of fun, and a lot actually a lot of those shows you mentioned have been in Melbourne, so it's, yes, uh, it's nice to be back here to to give it another. Another crack with this with Violet at, at Chapel of Chapel. Well, I think this will be a, a great production. Like I said, you it's set in the 1960s. Tell us something about Violet. So, as you say, yeah, it, it's about a, um, a a girl called Violet who lives in the Appalachian Mountains, who's uh, on a quest, a kind of a quest for redemption. Really, she um, has suffered a, a kind of disfiguring a disfiguring accident when she was 16. Uh, it, it accidentally hit by the father's axe, which where the blade comes loose, and uh, so she goes in search of a faith healer who she thinks can heal the scar, and but on the way meets these uh, two soldiers, and a kind of love triangle ensues, and so ends up with a very different kind of healing, but one probably that's ultimately more more sustainable and more real and and more true. Ultimately, it's, it's a beautiful story, and on the way, a lot of fantastic gospel, bluegrass, and uh, folk music is sung. It, it's a fantastic piece. Now, now the score's been written by uh, is it Jeannie um, Tesori? Ah, uh, Janine Tesori is yeah. the uh, composer, and Brian Crawley is the writer. And Janine just won the Tony Award actually for a show called Fun Home in um, in New York, and has also wrote Shrek the musical and Thoroughly Modern. Yes, incredible, yes. incredible, incredible. Yes, uh, I was going to bring that up with you because with that background of writing uh, for Thoroughly Modern Millie and Shrek and so on, uh, this must be a brilliant score. Oh, it's great! And as as Violet travels from uh, from North Carolina into Oklahoma, the music actually changes ge- geograph- geographically. So right. we get from the folk stuff, we head more into the gospel flavors. So it's it's so clever. I mean, not only wonderful and toe tapping, but you kind of go, oh, I'm going deeper, deeper, deeper into the middle of the country. It's so smart the way it's been constructed. That that that's really good. Is this your first foray into um, into directing? Edie, oh, well, I've directed a lot of student stuff before, but this is my first time with uh, professional adults, many of whom I've actually worked with as an actor in other shows, like uh, Samantha Dodd, who's playing Violet, and uh, Damien Birmingham, who's playing the father, and also one of the producers, and the wonderful Deidre Rubenstein, who's just been doing Ladies in Black for Melbourne Theatre Company. So uh, it's been it's been a joy, and you know, hopefully, some of the things I've learned as an actor have transferred to uh, you know my being, ability to to direct them, but. It's been it's great. I said to someone the other day, there's eleven in the cast, and I feel like I've had eleven, eleven fantastic love affairs. I'm in love with all of them. <laughs> it's that a wonderful experience. <laughs> that, that's not eleven marriages; it's eleven no, love, no, affairs. love affairs. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> when you get away with those, can't you? That's well, right. most people can. <laughs> yeah, until you get found out. Tell me, as uh, as a director, you're directing the cast there. Um, you would have had to have studied a lot about the musical to start with to be able to then interpret that and get the actors doing exactly what you want them to do. How easy was that? Yeah, it's, it's um, funny. I saw the show on Broadway a few years ago uh, and so I bought, I have listened to the CD so much since then anyway, just as a lover of the music. So it was kind of already in my body and in my head. So when we began, you know, I kind of, I kind of knew all the words of the music already. So 
that's been actually very, very useful. But also, our, our cast are such incredible vocalists and singers, and they've kind of transformed it and moved it into other places I didn't expect, and it's particularly some of the gospel stuff in it. It's just mind-blowing. So, so it's great. We, you, know, you begin with the original Broadway recording, but we've taken it into some other areas that I think are even more dynamic and exciting, and that's a complete thrill to to be in a rehearsal room in a theatre with. It's wonderful. So from what you're telling me there, you, you put your own spin onto this as well. But yeah, yeah, hopefully. And we tried to actually make it a, you know, we get, you know, a chapel of chapel and not a, in a huge Broadway theatre. So we tried to simplify and abstract the design a little bit just to serve that space. And I think I, I, personally, I think it works even better because, you know, we allow the audience to create the show in their minds and their imaginations more than, you know, putting everything so literally on, on the stage. And I think ultimately that's the kind of theatre I love watching, so hopefully that's the kind of theatre we can give to people. It's a little more intimate, isn't it? Yeah, indeed. And the Chapel of Chapel is such a brilliant space. And, you know, given this, is a lot of this show um, centres around a faith healer, the fact that we've got, you know, beautiful kind of chapel windows at the chapel in France kind of, I think, you know, is a good omen for us. It, it, it fits in well, yeah. Um, your cast, tell me who the cast is. So, yeah, Samantha Dottomade is playing um, Violet, who was just nominated for the Sydney Theatre Awards, Best uh, Actress in Musical. Deidre Rubenstein, a fantastic new performer called Louise Scrofani, playing young Violet in the flashbacks. Shireen Peck, who I did hair with, you mentioned before. And, yes. Uh, was, and also we did Avenue Q together a few years ago. She's playing the main gospel singer, Lula Buffington. Um, and all the cast have been in many, many other musicals. Um, Jordan Pollard, Did Anything Goes. Um, Steve Danielson just come out of Wicked playing Fiero and Barry Conrad who was star on X Factor a few years ago is playing Flick who's other part of Love, Love Triangle so we've been incredibly blessed I got all the people my first choices for every role are the people I got so I'm very very lucky Gee you couldn't do much better than that could you you really That's couldn't That's right mm. yeah. Well what's next for you uh, after this is over where do you go to then? Oh well, this is interesting Spring Awakening another musical for Australian theatre people uh, theatre for young people sorry back in Sydney Right and I'm um, back to Melbourne later in the year to do a play called Disgraced for Melbourne Theatre Company, which is a wrong. Are you directing that or playing it? Pardon? Are you playing in that or directing it? I'm playing it, yeah. I'm it's playing in a, a New York uh, a New York art dealer. The, uh, very, very different to Violet, but it's a fantastic play with Cat Stewart from Offspring. He's also in that and being directed by the great film director Nadia Tass, so that's uh, in Fairfax later in the year, so I can I can put my directing hat down and put my acting hat back on. Fairfax is quite a good theatre too, so uh, oh, it'll be, be, be great yeah. to see you on that one too, mate. Yeah, we must catch up before before then have a chat about that. I'd love to. Yeah, yeah. Mitchell, uh, the show opens on the 3rd of March, uh, going through to the 20th of March, so it's uh, got quite a good season, almost three weeks there. So uh, it'll be a lovely, lovely time for you. I wish you well for Velvet, uh, for uh, Violet. Um, we're popping along to see it ourselves in a couple of weeks' oh, time. Oh, Yeah, yeah, so we'll be there, I think, Sunday week it is. Wonderful. So we'll look forward to that very, very much. Violet, the musical, 3rd to the 20th of March at Chapel Off Chapel. Mitchell Patel, thank Thank you very, very much for your time today. I, I uh, am going to say to you, break a leg. And, uh, oh, thank you, Lee. We will do. <laughs> all goes well for you, pal. Yeah, it really, really does. Okay, best Cheers, wishes. Mate. Thanks so much. Thanks. Bye-bye to you.